Hello and Happy New Year. Uh, 2020 is almost here and uh, 2019 was a most eventful year for me. Uh, 2020 is promising to be very similar. My channel has been growing considerably and I'm hoping that you'll help me continue with that. I also hope that you'll have a good year as well. Uh, now let's move on to this video. So in this video I want to show you how I draw these snow-covered trees in winter and I'm going to be using just a couple of basic tools. So I'm basically going to be using two things. I'm going to be using blind charcoal for drawing and I needed eraser for erasing and drawing highlights. Uh, there are a couple of things that you need to remember when working with these tools. Blind charcoal is a soft natural charcoal that comes like this in a stick. It's uh, very easily applied and removed. It smudges very easily and it's easy to lift up. And the kneaded eraser is perfect for erasing charcoal. Uh, you can shape it and mold it to any shape you like. If you want to lift up uh, larger or erase larger or smaller areas like fine lines or dots. But the thing to remember is that you have to keep uh, molding it and reshaping it so that it would uh, work properly. For now I'm just going to do a tutorial on how to draw these two trees but I'm going to make a two-part video because later I'm going to turn this into a full uh, winter scene with some more trees and snow and things like that. But for now we're just going to focus on uh, drawing uh, these uh, trees covered with snow. So let's have a look. Alright, I'm starting on this uh, piece of paper which is about 9 times 12 inches in size. Like I said, later I will turn this into a full scene, but for now we're just doing a small tutorial on how to draw winter trees. I'm using vine charcoal and the first thing I'm going to do is cover cover this uh, area to create a little bit of value in the background because I want the highlights or the snow on the trees to stand out a little bit more once I start erasing. Anyway, a few words about vine charcoal. I already mentioned in the intro that it's a very convenient uh, drawing tool uh, which is very easy to manipulate. But the thing is that even though it comes in the form of a stick, it can also be sharpened just like a regular pencil. So you can create a finer tip if you like and just use it like a sort of a woodless pencil but you have to remember that its qualities are quite a bit different than those of a woodless charcoal pencil because that's essentially compressed charcoal and this charcoal is uh, much softer and much easier to move around and uh, erase. What I'm using for blending here is a paper towel and the paper towel blends vine charcoal very nicely but this is too light I'm just going to be adding a little more because I want the background to be a little bit darker so I need to add more uh, in a few layers and then I'm going to do the same thing and blend it with a paper towel uh, until I'm happy uh, with the tone with the amount of value that I'm going to get so I just covered it with vine charcoal a couple of times and blended it nicely with my paper towel. And now I'm ready to start drawing. I'm going to start drawing a coniferous tree. And by the way, if you're wondering why I made the background a little bit darker, it's not just because I want the, if, because I want more contrast with the background. It's also because my scene is going to be a little bit darker, so 
I have to keep that in mind. But anyway, a few words on why I picked these coniferous trees. As you can see, the trees that I'm going to be drawing are, look like firs. Uh, because snow just looks better on them because with deciduous trees in winter all you have left are branches and they're probably not quite as fun to draw but uh, coniferous trees are just as fascinating to look at in winter as they are in summer so we're gonna have some nice nice looking coniferous trees covered with snow but as, it, but as you can see first I'm drawing a tree as I normally would and then because fine charcoal is so easy to remove I'm just gonna grab my kneaded eraser and start drawing highlights I'm drawing that snow which is covering the branches and these clusters of needles And by the way, you can see how easy it is to draw a tree with vine charcoal because it's so soft and because it's covering larger areas and it's, it's somehow very easy to create um, the appearance of these branches with vine charcoal. And it also has a very nice feel to it when you move it on the paper. I'm just going to use a brush a little bit to push it around, but now it's time to start working with a kneaded eraser. And what you'll see me doing is I will keep reforming a tip on my kneaded eraser. I'm just adding a few details a little bit to make the trunk more defined here and there. Maybe a few flyaway, flyaway branches. Anyway, I'll just keep re reshaping uh, this kneaded eraser into a tip and then I'll start drawing my snow on these branches. It's very, very simple. You just follow uh, the follow the shape of the branches and the structure of the tree, and you just keep remo removing the charcoal, lifting up the charcoal until you get nice looking snow covered branches. You can see now that these whiter areas, lighter areas, are starting to show up. And the beautiful thing about drawing trees is that you don't have to worry about precision or likeness because as long as you keep in mind uh, what the general shape and the structure of the tree is, you, you'll do fine. But I can't remove all of it, as you can see. I have to leave these darker areas in between so that we can see that the snow didn't cover everything. I'm just going to keep doing that with the other branches and soon enough we'll have a nice looking winter tree. By the way I'm deliberately showing you this in real time not just so that you can follow what I'm doing but also so that you can uh, get an idea about uh, how much time and patience this requires because 
you will need to take a little bit of time to draw these highlights and you will need to reshape the kneaded eraser every now and then every every couple of strokes you just need to uh, reshape your kneaded eraser otherwise it will just lift up some of the charcoal and um, it will create gray tones it will stop it will stop uh, creating lighter white areas you can also use that to your advantage when you're drawing certain uh, things because you can for example clouds you can dab the kneaded eraser even when it's dirty to create softer transitions but here we don't want that here we want more contrast which is why it's very important for me to keep that tip clean and to keep remolding my kneaded eraser so the first tree is almost done it doesn't look great perhaps but I think you get the general idea like I said it's important to leave these darker areas in between so that so that the eye understands the the snow fell from above and failed to cover uh, some of the parts of the canopy on the inside so I'm just trying to lift up a little bit more here and there even though I think it looks fine if you want you can go back in and make it a little bit lighter or darker it's up to you I'm going to draw another one here. I'm going to draw a slightly smaller tree and a slightly different shape. You can't go wrong with drawing trees because they do always have irregular shapes, so that's kind of what I'm going for. With coniferous trees, these fir trees, uh, you want to make them taper towards the top because the branches are shorter there. And the ones near the bottom are longer and more dense. So this tree is a little bit smaller. I'm just going to dab it a little bit the brush and do the same thing. I'm also making it look like some of the branches are pointing downwards, some of them to the side and some of them slightly upwards. So I want it to look random and organic. So here's my kneaded eraser again. A little more molding. And I'm lifting up some more of that charcoal. By the way, if you've only worked with compressed charcoal, like for example with charcoal pencils or uh, woodless charcoal pencils, you probably may be wondering how is it so easy for me to erase this. Well, that's because compressed charcoal is a lot more difficult to erase. And you have to be careful not to press too hard on the paper. With fine charcoal, it's a whole different story. Uh, because it's actually very very easy to lift up you sometimes you don't even have to use an eraser you can just uh, use your clean finger or a, a clean tortillion and you can basically erase a line anyway I'm just trying to see if I can refine the shape a little bit more But the trees are mostly done. 
So this is pretty much it. Like I said, I'm going to make this a two-part video and in the next video, which is coming up in a few days, I'm going to show you how I turned these couple of trees into a full winter landscape. So stay tuned for that. That'll be all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the second part of the video.